I just wanted to take you guys on a little tour of our pig barn that we've got set up for farrowing. We have a sow that's due in a couple of weeks. So we wanted to get the farrowing side done and all ready for her long before she was due to farrow, just in case um, she goes early or something like that. And it's just nice to have it ready. The worst thing I think that could happen would be to have her go into labor and start giving birth before we were ready. So I'm just gonna show you guys what we did and this is just our system that we're gonna try out this year. We've never farrowed before, but we've done lots of research. So I'm hoping that some of the things that we've put in place will work well. And if not, we can change it for next year. But um, I guess I just wanted to say, uh, take what we do with a kind of like a grain of salt. Um, everybody does things a little bit differently, so just because we do it this way doesn't mean that you have to do it this way, but from what we've researched and people we've talked to, this is the system that we are going to try out this year. So I'll take you on a little tour, I guess. Also, I got a nail, um, kind of like hammered at me, which sounds weird, but Cole was trying to bend a nail and the nail broke and light came flying at my face and yeah, that's what that's for. Alrighty. So this is the farrowing side of our barn and I'm just gonna take you in here and show you around. We just finished kind of setting it up today to the best of our ability. And so what we have is we have a little corner kind of sectioned off so that the baby pigs can go underneath here and be under a heat lamp for the first few days so that they're nice and warm and kind of uh, less likely to snuggle underneath their mom and get crushed. I know that sounds weird to someone that isn't farrowing pigs, but a lot of piglets die from crushing and getting stepped on by their mom because it's just, the mom gets really stressed out and worried during labor. So if we can avoid any crushing incidents, that's what we want to do. So we have this little corner section off with some plywood to uh, keep the heat in from the heat lamp. And then a space just big enough for me to get in there or my husband so that we can go in here and, and do whatever we need to do with the baby piglets when they're a little bit older, you know, like vaccinations, iron shots, any of that kind of stuff that you need to do with baby pigs. Then we put up another bar here and basically that is another thing to just try to help give the piglets a spot to escape from their mom laying on them. She lays down, um, the piglets can get out of the way and not be crushed. And then we also have this little corner blocked off too, just as an extra precaution. Don't know if we needed to or not, but that is what we did. We also put another board down here so that mama pig can hop in and out and baby pigs can't. I think what we'll do is we'll actually just block off this entire door for the first day or so after she has babies so that um, she can't leave and so it stays nice and warm in here as well. Then uh, we'll probably take that off in a few days because I don't really want her to be stuck in here and pooping all over the floor and making a great big mess and making it humid in here and peeing everywhere and you know it's just better to get outside so if we need to raise that board up then we will obviously but play it by ear obviously we're probably going to make mistakes we've never furrowed before this is just the system that we want to try based on the research we've done and people we've talked to. It's kind of a, I guess, wait and see how things go, but that's the plan. So, yeah. Hopefully this video was helpful to anyone that's farrowing for the first time. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh -oh.